What's up, bros, and welcome to part 4 of my custom Marvel minifigure series, Marvel Zombies Survivors. Now today I'm going to be showing 5 more custom Marvel Zombies Survivors that I've made, so let's get down to business. Now for the first custom in today's video, we have a custom Spider-Man, I, I mean Ant-Man. Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from the Ultron minifigure from Avengers Age of Ultron. The torso we're going to be using is from a cyborg minifigure from the LEGO DC Superhero sets. Then we're going to take this Captain America Nomad minifigure headpiece, which is from the Avengers Infinity War sets. And then finally, we're going to take this Ant-Man helmet piece right here, pop that on to the head of the minifigure, and then we have the completed Ant-Man custom. Now we have the completed custom, and you bros are probably wondering, why does Ant-Man look a bit different than what, you know, he normally looks like? Well, in the official Marvel Zombies universe that was shown in the What If series, they showed Ant-Man or Scott Lang having survived the whole zombie thing but it was only his head, he lost his body, he lost the rest of his body, he only had his head, so I thought, hey, I'm gonna do the same thing for my Marvel Zombies universe that I've created, except Scott Lang now has a cyborg body. So the torso and the legs of this custom minifigure are like the cyborg body, and they just did some weird surgery and attached his head to the custom body that they made. So this is like a nanotech body, it can fly, and of course he has his usual shrinking powers, the pim tech, pim particles, and uh, yeah, that's the basic little backstory that I made for this custom. But yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the second Marvel Zombie Survivors custom in today's video, we have a custom Shocker! Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from a Catman minifigure from the Lego Batman movie minifigure series blind bags, except I replaced the middle crotch piece with a yellow one to fit the rest of the legs. Originally the crotch piece was brown instead. And we're gonna attach this Batman belt piece right there. And we're also gonna take this Catman torso piece with some brown arms and some dark gray hands. And then finally we're gonna take this AIM agent headpiece. And then we have the completed Shocker custom. Now for Shocker's weapons, instead of giving him his normal electro shocking gauntlets, I instead made these custom little blaster gauntlets or something that Shocker can use in combat. Basically, these things can be used as a normal Shocker gauntlet, he can shock people and punch them in the face or something, but he can also use them to shoot electro blasts at people or specifically zombies in this case because he's a Marvel zombie survivor. So now instead of just, you know, punching his opponents, he can also shoot electro blasts at his opponents which is a neat little feature that I decided to add to this custom. But anyway, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the third custom in today's video, we have a custom Electra. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from an Emperor Palpatine minifigure from Star Wars. The torso is from a magpie minifigure from the Lego Batman movie with some dark black arms and some dark red hands. We're gonna attach a black cape piece and we're gonna take this random scarlet witch headpiece. We're just gonna hide that back head print for now. And we're gonna take this dark red ninja hood lower mask piece. Pop that on right there. And then finally, we're gonna take this Nia hair piece, which is from the Lego Ninjago movie. Well, it's used for most Lego Ninjago Nia minifigures nowadays. But anyway, then we have the completed custom. Now for Electra's weapons or accessories, we're just gonna give her her size right here. And since I made Electra for this video, you already know who's coming next. Now for the fourth custom in today's video, we have a custom that I believe was requested by someone for the Marvel Zombies Survivor series. I'll probably show the comment if I can find it, but we have a custom Daredevil. 
Now, the legs of this custom minifigure are from the Spider-Man integrated suit from the Spider-Man No Way Home movie. The torso is from a Hawkeye minifigure from the first Avengers movie with a black arm right here with a light red arm or hand and we have a dark silver arm with a dark red hand. Then we're going to take this Hawkeye headpiece and we're going to attach this DCEU flash helmet piece, pop that on right there and it fits so well with the Hawkeye glasses on the Hawkeye minifigure if we just show that real quick. I mean it fits so well for Daredevil, but yeah, here we have the completed Daredevil custom. And of course we're just gonna give Daredevil his batons, and do I really need to explain why Daredevil would survive a zombie apocalypse in the Marvel Universe? Well, thanks to his special hearing abilities, I mean he could probably hear zombies coming from a mile away, so that's why I think he would be a big asset to the survivors in the Marvel Zombies universe, so I thought hey, I'm not gonna make him a zombie, I'm just gonna make him a survivor. So yeah, that's basically it for this custom. Now for the fifth and last Marvel Zombies survivor in today's video, we have a custom ghost. Now the legs of this custom minifigure are from, well I'm not sure where the legs are from, but I'll probably leave a picture of where the legs are from if I find them on the screen right now. And we're gonna take this torso piece, which I believe is from the first Guardians of the Galaxy movie from a Sicarian guard, I believe. And we're gonna take this side attachment cloth piece right here, which is from Star Wars. I have no idea what minifigure though. And then we're just gonna take the official ghost headpiece, pop that on right there. And then finally, we're gonna take this black hood piece and then we have the completed Ghost minifigure. Now, do I really need to explain why Ghost would survive a zombie apocalypse? Well, I mean, thanks to her abilities, I mean, she could just phase in and out, and the zombies would never be able to touch her, and never lay a finger on her, and never be able to eat her, so I think, yeah, she's definitely a survivor. But anyway, that's basically it for this LEGO Marvel Zombie Survivors custom minifigure series video, and I hope you bros enjoyed these five customs. And I don't really have anything else to really explain. Feel free to check out my other videos, I mostly make mocks, and of course custom minifigures. Sorry for not uploading in a while. My laptop broke, which is a true story, I'm not lying, it actually broke. I've had it for a while now, and it's what I used to edit my videos, so without it, I can't really continue the YouTube channel. So I had to buy a new one, and the new one is pretty good. I can't wait to edit my first video on it, which is going to be this video. It's probably going to be a lot of fun, but yeah. Feel free to check out my other videos, I'm Osmic Mox, and of course custom minifigures, all that usual nonsense, and I'm talking way too fast. Have a great day. See you, bros.